Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at how we create field zones manually. We're going to look at how we create uh, the zones in your field, then how we create an application map, and then how we export those zones and the application map out to a monitor. Okay, so we're going to look at creating our own manual zones uh, in our field, which we can use to create application maps for seeding, for um, fertilizing, or cultivating, or whatever else we want to uh, to do. We can have a, um, a base layer underneath it. At the moment, I don't, other than a background um, image. If you want to put a yield map there, then you can do. And that's entirely up to you as long as we, um, we we work on the correct layer but we need to see the <coughs> um, base layer and we'll, we'll use the transparency tool to do that in a second but to start the process we need to um, select the boundary layer right mouse click it and go copy because we need to make a copy a direct copy of the field um, to create our soil zone layer so we highlight now our field in the management tree right mouse click and go add layer and add polygon area layer and we can call it whatever we like but uh, as long as it means something to you I'm going to call this one base zone layer so we click OK highlight the base zone layer that uh, that we've got I click edit layer right mouse click and then go paste edition so we now see that it has changed color slightly what is quite a helpful here is if we use the transparency slider just to slide it down so we can see through the zone and the layer that we've just created to our underlying map and if you had a yield map you'd want to see that um, here I want to have a look at the aerial image um, beneath it so I've now created a slight transparency on my base zone layer and we can see that that is the top layer under our displayed layers box here so we know that we're working on the right layer we then go to the split polygon tool and there's a number of ways in which we can split it um, and I'm going to choose the line one to start with and then we'll have a look at the polygon as well just to uh, to see which one uh, is most effective for you as I've chosen the line you can see that it's gone to some crosshairs so I now place the cursor outside the field boundary left mouse click and drag it across the field to the other side to go outside the boundary we left mouse click um, to complete the line right mouse click to go finish now if I want to um, add a couple of or, or a non straight line I can put the cursor outside the field bring it to a point inside and then left mouse click outside the field boundary right mouse click and click finish and so that's two ways in which you can use the uh, the line tool now if we just have a quick look at the polygon we stay inside the field boundary on this occasion left mouse click left mouse click left mouse click left mouse click and when we complete the polygon we go finish and so now we have a zone um, here so these are all the zones that I need to create in my field so I'm going to um, click save and close and we see that they've changed color and we've got one two three four zones within this field which is exactly what we want to do so that is our base zone layer completed now and we can use this layer for whatever application that we want to do in this example I'm going to use lime and so I'm going to make sure that lime is in my working group and I would um, I should in theory put in my fertilizer spreader and my tractor and my person to complete the job to make sure that um, I'm going to be applying this in the, uh, the the right way as I would do in the farm so uh, I've got now I want to I've gathered all my equipment I now want to apply it to a field so if I've got a number of base um, level zone maps and then I can do a number of fields at the same time in this example we're just going to uh, to use one so I'm going to select spinny field and then I select record planned jobs and in here it brings up the planned jobs dialog box we can see it's a slightly different color to uh, to normal and we then have to to check that it's an application which it is um, 
what I might want to do is put in lime at the front of my job name so I know it's a lime job because if I'm putting fertilizer on and lime and I'm doing some spraying then we'll have a, a number of jobs that will um, say spinny application and it just makes it a little bit harder to identify which they are but uh, so that's why I would put lime in uh, in front of it um, it's a variable rate application job so I will tick the box next to variable rate application and this is where we start to uh, use the the map and the base zone layer that we've just created and we're going to use the base data um, ie the colors that we've created on our um, base zone layer map this is what's going to form the basis of our variable rate application map so we click OK and then OK again and now we have just uh, got one default rate across the whole of the field but we actually want to put four so I'm going to click the green cross next to our product and until we get four colors then I need to change my uh, the rates that I want to put on and these are totally um, uh, up to you what rates you want to uh, to use so I'm going to put five kilograms a hectare five tons to hectare 10 tons 15 tons and 20 tons and uh, <coughs> the uh, the zone here is five it's blue so it will stay the same what I'm going to do is the zone here I want to make it 10 so I click the zone and then click the color then click outside the uh, the map and you see that it's changed if I now click inside the uh, the zone the polygon that we created earlier then I click 20 and then click outside and then last but no means least the large area of 15 and um, then click outside and we now see that we have our variable rate application map that has been created just to help us what we can do is right mouse click and go add label and we want it to be a lime label and if we do that for all of our zones then we can see the exact amount that we are putting on our uh, on our field just as a as a record for us so we'll click save and close now we've created the application map and uh, we are now ready to export it out to the monitor so if we go back to our tasks and our jobs that we've got to go and do we notice that spinny here um, has got lime application and it's a different color to the ones above it the ones above it are um, jobs that we've already done whereas the one uh, beneath it in um, in brown which is very similar to the color that we had in our um, create jobs dialog uh, window a few uh, few minutes ago it's the same color so we know it's a job that we're going to go and do so we'll highlight that task right mouse click and then go export and we will then export it to um, our USB stick should be a clean one I haven't cleaned it off but here we go we've got spinny lime application click save and that has now saved it to the USB stick and if I look on my USB stick here we go here is the spinny the lime application and it is a, uh, a shape file so we know what it is it can just very simply go on the base of the the USB stick or whichever medium that uh, that you are using because you will draw it into the controller and uh, the information the shape file that it is uh, that the, that the uh, controller will read will be ready and available um, to you and so that's then how you um, create a, a base level zone map for you to uh, manually apply your variable rate applications to and then export it out to a monitor